Hi Cappy, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Capricorn placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the rose, take what resonates, leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Thank you guys so much for your love, your support, and your donations. I'm sending a lot of you um, peace, love, happiness, joy, and light on your journey. Thank you for booking your personal readings with me. Okay, let's see what's going on, Cappy. Flip and switch the rose. Yeah, take what resonates, leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages that are on here and on any other social media platforms, okay? So let's see what's going on, Cappy, for you. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work. Any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones, return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through spirit. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Cappies. Protect me as I channel for my Capricorn Collective. Let's see. What's going on for Cappy? So we have birth. It says new opportunities. Starting over, reinventing yourself, birth of a child, idea, or project. Okay. All right, I'll take them. Inspiration, hopes, and dreams. Temptation, a gamble, risk, and reward. And um, lightning, sudden, fast change, taking quick action, shocking events, love striking you unexpectedly. Bottom of the deck is hanging, hang your wings, misbehaving, naughty. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. So congrats on the birth of your new project or a baby that's coming. Some of y'all are, are getting ready to have a baby pretty soon. That's not for everybody. Okay. If you're not at a childbearing age or if you don't want to have kids. I mean, sometimes that shit happen anyway, though. <laughs> a lot of people say, oh, I don't want to have kids and they end up having kids. So, you know, it's different for everybody. But, um... Some of you guys are getting ready to take action on a project or a particular relationship in your life. This could be coming in, like I said, unexpectedly, like you didn't know that you were going to fall for somebody. Okay. But let's see, though. It looks good. I feel like a wish is coming in for you, to be honest. Some of you guys could be re... Uh, um, I just heard somebody could be an interior designer, but you could be renovating your home remodeling or something like that or you're doing like di diy projects around your around your home okay somebody could be getting a new home a new place congrats congrats but um let me see here what's birth for cappy What's birth here for Cappy? The death card, yeah. Scorpio, what's birth here for Cappy? Six of Wands in reverse, hmm. Leo, Jupiter, we got Scorpio. So, I mean, it looks like there's a big ending here. You're going through a major change and a, a death and like a rebirth in your life, okay? Whoever was going up against you with the six of wands in reverse, that's clout hungry or clout chasing, whoever had ill intentions, it could be a lot of people, they lost at their own fucking game here. Six of wands, somebody here is not getting a victory or whatever the case may be. You could be too. I feel like you could be cutting your losses with a situation as well because you're not seeing like it's not victorious. It's just it is what it is. So you're just kind of like moving forward in your life is what I'm getting. Um... Let's see, it's cold in here. Let me put on my heat. It's cold. What's uh, the Six of Wands in reverse? The Hermit. The Six of Wands in reverse. The Star. Mm. Aquarius. We got Virgo. So, yeah, you could be. Okay, hopefully they can't see that. There could be a lot of people like going against something that you're really good with doing. 
you could be networking you could be meeting people here with this aquarius and virgo energy i'm getting 11th house sixth house so you could be there's something going on with your work your finances so this could be you birthing something new you could be getting out meeting more people that can help you with your projects help you with whatever you're some of y'all are even inventing something okay but you could be an artist um of some sort you could be a healer an astrologer you could be very very spiritual okay but i feel like with the hermit there's a lot of wisdom here there's spiritual enlightenment you're doing some soul searching or researching something you could be studying for something there's just a lot of people that don't fuck with you and i feel like you don't give a fuck okay we never give a fuck around here so bitch take your take your hate and go shove it where the sun does not fucking shine we don't care about what you bitches don't like or like if you don't like it then why are you watching if you don't like it why are you here that's what i'm saying people are delusional <laughs> they're delusional and this is why they're losing with the six of wands in reverse these are people that like clout they clout chasing they like attention okay i don't know who the fuck they are i don't know but um they feel that whatever they try to do though whatever it is I don't know if they were trying to like talk down on you or trying to like get people to go against you, get people to like not be a fan of you anymore or not fuck with whatever you're doing. But I feel like that's a negative. It didn't fucking work at all. So, um, I feel like you've done a lot of shadow work as well. This is not about like your work work, like your money or your career. You've done a lot of shadow work too. I feel like you're a healer, you're healing, okay? This is why this shit is over with. Whoever this is or whoever these people are that feel like they could make you feel insecure or cause you to feel like, you know, you're not worthy of good shit, then that's on they stupid ass. It looks like they lost. So it don't even matter. It really don't. What's the death card? I feel like your optimism and your positive attitude here is like pushing you forward i also feel like you know that there's people like watching you like they they got a problem so it's like you're keeping a lot of shit private which is nice i mean a private life is the best child <laughs> seriously what's the death card okay yeah king of pentacles in reverse what's the death card king of pentacles in reverse <laughs> five of cups in reverse scorpio mars here we got taurus with the king of pentacles in reverse or it could be Virgo Capricorn too, but it could, that's my Taurus card. It's actually a Taurus Aries Cusper. So, but, um, yeah, so I feel like you're healing from something. You're getting over something. Okay. You're not grieving about something. You're not crying about whatever the fuck. Um, somebody here could have, you could have taken a loss to your finances or like some sort of business that you built up could have came crashing down probably because of these people that are hating on you. So whatever is ending, I feel like you're going to be moving forward um, if you're going to get something better than what you had at first, <laughs> just period. King of Pentacles in reverse though. Um, this could be somebody that cheated on you, or you could have met a lot of people that were dishonest about their financial situations. I don't know if you met a lot of gold diggers, opportunists or what, but these people are greedy. They're selfish. They're cheaters. They're liars. They're very disloyal with the King of Pentacles in reverse. Definitely someone here is greedy. For some of you, somebody here tried to extort you or uh, blackmail you or something like that. It's a group of people. That's over. <laughs> the, the, them trying to do that shit is definitely over. Okay, if that was the case. Somebody here, you could be going through a divorce as well, Cappy, but what's the King of Pentacles in reverse? Somebody here is greedy, they're broke, and they're a slob. And this is why you're done with them or whatever the fuck this is okay yeah the moon what's the moon right here with the king of pentacles in reverse yeah the eight of swords like mm. i feel like i'm getting too like if this was a pattern of you dating like a bunch of bum ass people you know what i'm saying people that like to live off you and shit like that i feel like that's over somebody here could be going to jail here and they're scared as hell they could be going to spiritual jail or real jail for doing something illegal with the king of pentacles in reverse for money i don't know but with the moon it's definitely like deception or, or people that's trying to hide something that they're doing they're stuck now they're stuck they're in fear they definitely shaking in their fucking boots <laughs> whoever this is mm. They feel trapped. Somebody feels restricted. Somebody losing hella money. 
their business is falling apart. Everything is over for their ass. And I feel like you're just getting ready to glow up here with whatever you're doing. Yeah, the Empress, the Sun, the Chariot, the Four Swords. Yeah, the Fool. So I wanted to have a Gemini, Jupiter. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Virgo for the majors that are here. So, anywho, <laughs> what's um, inspiration, hopes, dreams? Two of Cups in reverse, what's inspiration, hopes, dreams here? The Queen of Cups. Cancer. You have cancer in your chart. Someone could have a cancer Venus placement. So I feel like, honestly, this could be about your relationships too, your partnerships. This could have something to do with like your love life. So it could be friendships, family, romantic. Okay. But I feel um, you're accepting that you're separating from somebody, that you're separated from them and you're just moving forward with your life. I feel like you're maybe you're coming to terms with the fact that there's like incompatibilities between you and someone with the two of cups in reverse. Or you could actually be breaking up with someone. This could actually be a breakup. But the Two of Cups in Reverse definitely talks about incompatibilities. You guys will be seeing 11-11. It's on the clock. You feel like there's like incompatibilities. I feel like you love this person, but y'all are separated or something like that. Y'all not seeing eye to eye. There's like a rocky relationship between you and somebody. But I feel like you coming to terms with the fact that you're, you're accepting this here is pushing you forward into a time of celebration like that's what you're supposed to be doing is what it feels like yeah like you master something yeah look the eight of pentacles the ace of cups the hierophant you've done the hard work it's like you master something and now you're going into a time of um emotional fulfillment as far as like i feel like your connections goes and your um the connection that you have with yourself to source as well this could be like spirituality too so you could be a spiritualist you could be definitely be a psychic a healer I feel like you're getting an upgrade around your finances, okay, and your commitments for sure with a lover, okay? This could be a twin flame or you're in a twin flame connection and y'all are separated, you know, and I, I don't know, but I feel like you've, you've achieved something though, okay? This could be like a date and offer a proposal. This could be an invitation. So you could be getting ready to go out, okay? You're going to be meeting new people, okay? Like it just sounds like it's a good time <laughs> coming up here. Or you're already in, involved here. But um, let's see. What's the Two of Cups in reverse? I feel like your heart is open, which is good. Yeah, King of Wands. What's the Two of Cups in reverse with the King of Wands? Leo here. Yeah, Two of Wands in reverse. Hmm. So with the two of wands in reverse, I do feel like there's a fear of the unknown, but I feel like it's more so somebody feels restricted. This could talk about like indecision too. Somebody's like indecisive or like don't know what they want to do with their life or do with you per se. I feel like you love this person, but right now I feel like somebody's in their ego. I really do. Um... Then we have the Queen of Wands right here, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Wands. I feel like this connection between you and this person, I feel like you and this person really inspire each other. Y'all help each other grow. That's what the main thing of it. If this is a twin flame connection, that's what the main thing is. That's the main purpose, to help you and this person awaken, to help you. To help y'all awaken to um your actual purpose. And if y'all come back together, then that's what it is, right? But... I feel like you are coming into union with yourself right now, Capricorn. So you're moving forward with your life. But let me let me see something. What's the King of Wands right here? The King of Wands is like a catalyst for your growth. They're very inspirational, though. Um, they're a leader, natural born leader. They go after the things that they desire. But there's like, what's the King of Wands here? Yeah, the Knight of Swords. What's the King of Wands, Knight of Swords? Gemini. The King of Cups. Hmm. 
Wow. King of Cups to the Queen of Cups. Let me see something. Who the King of Cups right here? Who this King of Cups? Scorpio, Gemini. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Who this King of Cups right here? Page of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Wands came out sideways. Sagittarius Moon, got Scorpio. Um, so first of all, I feel like there's a spirit guy here that's protecting you. Okay. <laughs> I feel like there's a spirit guy that's protecting you here. From some sort of like somebody doing some sort of like divination spying, or it could be black magic as well with the page of pentacles in reverse. Um, I also feel like too smart is like hiding their feelings. This is why there's a problem between you and this person. It's like an ongoing battle, but I, I feel like you're getting ready to start accepting this for what this is. Cause it's like, it's not going nowhere. It's like, they're, they're scared of the unknown. And it's like, well, you're not budging because you're not going to be fucking played with, or you're not going to be chasing or any of that. I feel like you've come to terms with that. You're very emotionally mature. Okay. Um, Somebody here could be under like attack, Capricorn. And this is why there's a restriction here. And I feel like the attack affects other things that you do. Okay, it affects your life in certain ways. But I mean, I feel like it doesn't like affect you to the point where you're like stuck, stagnant. With it. I feel like maybe it used to. But now that you've healed, you're actively healing and you're knowing how to maneuver and you know that other people could be playing around in your energy. It's like you know how to move. So it's, it doesn't affect you. You're still moving forward and you're you're continuing to elevate. So there's no more you being stuck. It doesn't feel like that anyway. But um. I feel like, like somebody's trying to attack your love life, to be honest. We do have the King and the Queen of Cups upright. But there's like an attack somewhere. Somebody somebody is just... Okay, I'm getting too many things at one time. Let me just calm down so I can figure out what I'm trying to say. Okay, so there could be, first of all, there could be somebody that you know that you're, that you, that you know that uh, has feelings for you, you have feelings for them, but they're hidden. I feel like there's an attack on this person's heart chakra. Like they're not, they hide their feelings a lot. And it's like, you can't do anything with that. If you're ready to open your heart and give to others, I mean, to, to give to a relationship, then I feel like you can't do shit with this. You got to let them do this shit on their own, right? And then when they come towards you, they come and come towards you with their ego. And then it shows you another side of them. And it's like, well, damn, we really must not be compatible. Are you still not ready? It's like, you know, on the soul level that you, that you love them and they love you back, right? Genuinely. But it's like, there's nothing happening in the 3D. And when it does happen, it's like they come with their ego. They don't come with their heart open and willing to um give to the connection. They could be, they could come off very sexual or just like, it's something about them that's very egotistical. So you're just like, well... I feel like you're accepting that, okay? I'm also getting to... Now, this could be the same person, right? This person, they're being attacked by outside interferences, outside forces. So when you do indulge with this person... I keep getting that. I got that for Libra and uh, Aries. Okay, maybe go watch them. I don't know. But when you do indulge and, and deal with this person, it kind of like sets you back. It puts you in this... It's, state of mind where you're like trapped you're stuck you feel me it's like you're stuck on them you're stuck thinking about them you can't move forward you don't want to date nobody else you don't want to open your heart up to nobody else it's like it's something like that it's weird it's really weird um there could be two i'm getting you have somebody around you i don't know if this is your child's father or child's mother or just like maybe somebody that you dated in the past. I don't know. This person like attacks whoever it is that you meet. Or they, they attack you too. But they attack. They don't want you to be with nobody else. You feel what I'm saying? Like they don't.
I feel like you're slowly transitioning though. It's like you're slowly getting ready to like open up or let your guards down and jump in at different opportunities because it's like you're missing opportunities staying here with whatever this shit is right here. Like there's a manifestation that could be getting ready to come in for you. I feel like it's been an ongoing battle too with getting somebody that's going to match your energy for some of you there's somebody that's coming into your life they're really mentally strong and emotionally strong so they're not easily moved they get beat up by probably you know what i'm saying dark forces and shit like that like you do they could be very psychic like you are but they're mentally and emotionally strong for some of you this person could be having some sort of issues um somebody could be having some sort of issues around a child a child could not be somebody's And I feel like whoever this King of Wands is, Knight of Swords with the two of Wands in reverse, this is a different energy. This is this person that like comes in and out of your life or they're very impulsive or I don't know what the fuck, but you're just realizing that y'all incompatible. There could be somebody else that's coming that's actually, I wouldn't say that they could be a twin, but they don't have to be. They could be somebody that just matches your energy. Queen of Cups with the King of Cups, somebody that's really um emotionally mature and available for you. And that could be what you're looking for. Because I feel like it's been a struggle with the Nine of Wands to have somebody to meet you on that level like to be mentally and emotionally strong it's been it's been a struggle with that yeah like something yeah the six of wands the, the wheel and the six of pentacles so equal give and take reciprocity if you go on this new new adventure or this could be a new job of some sort i don't know i don't fucking know but i feel like you're getting reciprocity though there's something that's going to be reciprocal. What's this? Um, What's that page of pentacles right there in reverse? I feel like somebody spies on you a lot, though. What's the page? Like, they do divination spying. They, what's the page of pentacles in reverse? But I'm picking up, like, new energy. This person. Yeah, the tower. Something shocking came out, like, about a child for some of you. Maybe this could be something that this person right here that's matching your energy is going, to, is going through. And I feel like you're going to, when you, when you meet this person or as you're transforming this situation with this King of Wands person, I feel like is going to dissipate kind of because 11, 22 on the clock, because it's nothing, it's, there, it's not going nowhere. It's like, it's, it's restricted. You feel stuck. It's like somebody here has ran out of options or whatever the fuck. Like... I don't know, but something here shocking came out about a child, what I just channeled. And if this is somebody you're getting ready to meet, that could be their story. I don't know. I'm channeling that for somebody, so let me know in the comments. But um, what's the uh two of wands in reverse? What's this? That could be indecision too, though. It's like somebody don't know what, yeah, the ten of wands. Somebody don't know which path to choose. I pulled that with the king of wands. So it's like, it's this person. Like they they come with a lot of baggage or burdens or like, they have a lot of shit that they need to heal from or let go of. It's just like too much. It's causing a burden and it's causing you to stay restricted. It's just really keeping you stuck and it's not fair. It's not fair. So, you know, I don't know. What's the Queen of Cups right here? The King of Swords. What's the King of Cups, Queen of Swords? You know, I said, I meant King of Swords, not Queen of Swords. I was getting ready to say in the beginning something about Archangel Michael. The King of Swords is Archangel Michael to me, but this could be an Aquarius here that you're dealing with. What's the, that's what I'm saying. I don't even match. Queen of Cups with the um King of Swords. It's like somebody's really aloof here or nonchalant or they act like they don't give a fuck or something like that. What's the Queen of Cups? The Ten of Swords, right. Somebody here could be under like attack. This King of Swords could be just King of Wands or this could be different masculines. Okay, this could be different people like in your energy and one of them really match you and they find out something shocking too. But it's like they're, they're I feel the energy of them being ready. You know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> um, there could have been like some sort of abrupt ending with this King of Swords due to a betrayal. Now, I don't know if they betrayed you and then they're acting like they don't know what happened or they don't give a fuck. I don't know. We got the King of Swords here, the King of Wands, the King of Pentacles in reverse, and the King of Cups upright. Hmm. Interesting. 
You can have all different masculines in your energy or somebody's a shapeshifter. <laughs> Give me more on this King of Swords with this Ten of Swords. I feel like Spirit is protecting you from some sort of attack, though. I really do. Like, honestly. What's the King of Swords, Ten of Swords? Yeah, Six of Swords here. It's like moving forward, moving on. This could talk about relocation. Um, but I feel like this is you moving on from something. Or this is this person. But I feel like you're moving on because somebody is just so aloof. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Somebody is so aloof and just like, like the, I just feel like there's nothing that you can do with this person right now anyway. Like, what the fuck? I don't know. Some weird shit going on with this, but. We got the Queen of Swords right here. Five of Swords, the Shrimp card, the Page of Swords. Yeah, I I feel like you're really just setting boundaries here between you and somebody because there's a lot of miscommunication and all that. And it's just like it's taking a lot of it's taking a lot out of you to really actually walk away from this person. <laughs> Cause y'all y'all probably do have a very strong connection. Y'all match in some sort of way. Y'all could even be twins, but it's just like it's not moving. Cause somebody keeps being attacked or they keep being under attack and, and then it's causing like delays every time a new cycle comes around. It's like, it's just annoying, I feel. So I feel like this is you. Yeah, the Empress, I, you know, Four of Cups. You could be like uh, rejecting multiple people, but the Four of Cups and the Ace of Cups, I feel like you've been bored. Like you've been bored and discontent because you've been sitting here waiting for something. It's like something from your past you were discontent with or you want it to happen, but it's just like, it's not moving. It's at a stalemate. So I feel like now you're being introduced with more self-love. This could talk about you going out, having a good time, meeting new people, doing new things, going on a new adventure. I feel like you have some sort of new exciting plans that could be coming in. This could be you meeting new people, networking, just really pampering you because something is not, is at a stalemate. So I feel like you're getting ready to like pop out. <laughs> okay. Cause it's just not fair for you to like be sitting still like that. So, I mean, you're probably going to end up meeting new people and things like that but mm, what's temptation a gamble risk and reward the devil what's temptation with the devil capricorn energy the nine of pentacles So something here is risky or or something here you're being tempted to do. I don't know, like, because Nine of Pentacles talks about singleness, like you enjoying your singlehood, somebody that's really independent, self-reliant. Maybe this could talk about, so I just heard something about hyper-independence. So I feel like you need to be in this energy of receiving and, and just letting people come to, come to you, okay? Because your independence could really, like, get in the way of connections if you don't let a person lead. That could be a thing, too, is what I just heard. Okay, but um, there could be a risk that you need to take with your finances, possibly. I don't know if there's like fear. I'm gonna clarify. Let me see what this is. What's this devil? It's like, what's this devil here? The Ten of Cups. What's the devil with the Ten of Cups? The Knight of Wands. Ace of Pentacles, Lovers. So the Knight of Wands is somebody that is a risk taker. They are very adventurous, okay? They usually get what they want when they go after it. Um. So something is tempting you, though. I don't feel like it's even bad, either. Like, I don't... Ten of Cups is like a faded, a destined partnership. Now, there could be something toxic going on in your family or something like that, but I really don't feel like that. I feel like there's something that's tempting you. That is, I feel like it's good. Like, this could be you getting ready to start a family, getting married, 
Um, I just heard something about somebody purchasing a house. So just make sure you're looking over there, you know, looking over everything. Um, but the Knight of Wands is like somebody that's very adventurous. They're spontaneous. They're very like, um, fun to be around. This could be somebody coming to your life or this could be, I feel like you're getting ready to do something that's, there's temptation. I just don't like that devil, like upright. It feels weird though. It doesn't even feel like it's bad. It just feels like, damn, I really want to do this, but I'm kind of like, mm. it's going to be like a little bit of fear mixed in with it. Maybe you fear like moving on from something or someone because you don't know if that situation is going to pick up or not. That could be probably what it is too. But you have other new connections here. Ace of Pentacles, the lovers. I feel like there's kindred spirits. There's soulmates here. There's, uh, I don't know if you have a divine counter. I don't know. I don't fucking know. But I just feel like there's a new beginning here. There's some beneficial partnerships coming in for you, especially maybe in regards to your finances. But this could talk about like loyalty, people that you can depend on, people that are reliable. Like they're going to match your energy. And this is your karmic justice. So I don't know. The devil really is not giving me bad energy. I feel like if you take the risk, you're going to get rewarded. For some of you guys, a pregnancy could be coming. Okay. <laughs> but let's see. What's the Nine of Pentacles? Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. What's the Nine of Pentacles? Ace of Pentacles. Oh, the Emperor in Reverse. Aries energy. Mm. Child, who the fuck are these masculines, bro? All the masculines are here. <laughs> All of them. The emperors are here too. They in reverse though. <laughs> so it's just like, who the fuck? But, um... There could be somebody, too, that's coming into your life that's embodying this King of Wands and this King of Cups. They could be very nice looking, but they're very assertive. They, they could be going through, like, a breakup or something. They just left an abusive relationship, probably with somebody that um had a child on them. But they find out that a child is not there, so they're taking action to get the fuck, okay? This person is very mature. This could be, I feel like that's new. This King of Cups, Queen of Cups, that's the only matches here, okay? So, that could be something, like, a little new okay for you these other people this king of swords and this king of pentacles in reverse and this emperor in reverse i don't know what the fuck their problem is i feel like that's who you're leaving behind um i feel like this emperor in reverse is somebody that's lacking stability or structure they're like um trying to abuse their position of authority this could be your baby daddy or something like that or whoever i don't know who the fuck that is but I feel like you have a brand new opportunity coming through. I don't know if this is like your boss or something like that, but you have a brand new opportunity coming in. That's definitely, it's this other pinnacle. You have the nine of pinnacles, then you have an ace of pinnacles coming through. So this could be like the end all be all. That could be like marriage, you starting a family. Somebody's like obsessed with this. That could be what that is. I feel like you're tempted to kind of like go out. 11.33 on the clock, I keep seeing those numbers. You're tempted to kind of like go out and have a ball, have a good time. Or this person that's going to come into your life is going to tempt you to be... To like actually give them a chance, okay, is what I'm getting. That's for somebody. It's not gonna be for every damn body. But then it's like somebody is like in the background, like secretly stalking you or watching you. They're like still obsessed with you. You can have kids with this person already or a child or whatever. It's like some of y'all can even be getting ready to go into like marriages and things like that. I just feel like somebody's like, I don't know. What's the Emperor in reverse? Who is that? Yeah, Three of Swords, somebody that's heartbroken. This seems like this it's an X or something. What's the Emperor in reverse with the Three of Swords? I think I have Aries in their chart, Libra. Yeah, Two of Swords. And the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, they can have Virgo in their chart. This person, I feel like they're going to be heartbroken with whatever this is coming. Whatever this is for you. Yeah, the Hierophant, the Ace of Swords, the Temperance. I don't know. <laughs> Or whatever money you're getting ready to get, whatever business you're getting ready to start. I don't fucking know. But I feel like somebody is like, this Emperor in Reverse person is so like heartbroken and sad or depressed or upset. I feel like they've been slowly trying to approach you with an offer or they've been really, 
strategic and methodical with blocking these offers from coming towards you. They've been doing something. Because I feel like they spy on you. Whoever this is, I don't like them. <laughs> they shapeshift. And then they act like they don't give a fuck or like they're nonchalant. I feel like you know that this who this is, though. Some of y'all, it's your baby daddy. Others of you, it's like multiple people in your energy doing this shit. But the two of swords, it's like this person, they heart chakra is blocked off. They're really indecisive. They don't know what they want. It's like they want to have their cake and they eat it too. I feel like you've broken free from this person. And now you're getting you're getting ready to kind of, or you heal from them because you've probably been broken free from them. But maybe it's taken a long time for you to actually heal the trauma that they brung, okay, that they caused. And you probably like, if you were obviously dating other people after them, they were just like this person. <laughs> they had qualities just like this person. So that's something that you needed to heal within you so you could stop attracting them kind of people. And I feel like now you finally did it. And now this person, I don't know, they just... They, they've been trying to control you now because it's like they've been taking their sweet ass time giving you an offer or they I don't know but they they've been had bad intentions though with the emperor in reverse it's like they was trying to they've been trying to abuse their position of authority it's just a certain way that they were doing it and they thought you were slow or stupid like you were going to fucking stay stuck it's like no you're not no you're not so I don't know mm -hmm. I just feel like people trying to get back into your energy child this is a mess maybe go watch Leo's reading Like, what's lightning right here, child? Sudden fast change. Yeah, four cups in reverse. Something is moving. You're seizing an opportunity. You're not feeling overwhelmed or you're not going to be stuck or any of that or stuck on the past. It's like you're moving now. What's the lightning here? This person, they know this shit coming too, though, because some of y'all could really be enjoying your time or you're, you're doing something different. They know that it's coming. What's lightning here with the four cups in reverse? Whatever it is that's coming. Yeah, nine of swords in reverse. It's like, there's going to be a lot of people that's going to be in regret, just period. But this is you. Like I said, you're not worried. You're not anxious. You're not stressed. You're not losing any sleep. It's like you're not in your head or anything like that. You're completely free. And now, because you freed yourself from a lot of the bullshit, you're getting this ace of pentacles. That's the last pentacle that makes the ten of pentacles. <laughs> like, you've mastered something. Eight of pentacles with the chariot. And the um, four of wands and the knight of cups, you master something within yourself. And now you're graduating with the four of wands. That's a celebration. That's, you know, um, you being proud of your achievements here. That's you like really enjoying your time, enjoying you and meeting people, going out like, or this could be family gathering, whatever the fuck it is. But there's like good news. Some of y'all could be even getting proposed to you're getting married pretty soon. Like, even if it is somebody new, I'm telling you, a person that know what they want, they ain't gonna waste no motherfucking time. That's how I feel. You feel me? When two people are on the same page, it's like, well, what are we waiting for? <laughs> Let's get it done. Like, you know, what? I, that, that's the kind of energy I'm getting. I really am. Like, I, I don't... What's the four cups in reverse? Yeah, four wands, celebration, gathering. This could be a reunion, okay? This could be family gathering. You could be reuniting with family, friends. Um, You could be going out in your community. Like, I don't know, but this is like you being proud of your achievements here. You graduated. You achieved something on your journey, which is bringing you to something big coming. <laughs> okay, I don't know. What's the, what's the nine of swords in reverse? Yeah, queen of pentacles, grounded, stable, secure. Okay, Queen of Pentacles here. Now we got the King of Pentacles in reverse over there. So I don't know who the fuck that is, child. But y'all not a match. <laughs> Just period. Just fucking period. What's the Nine of Swords in reverse, Queen of Pentacles? Two of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Pentacles, the Lovers. <laughs> This is two of pentacles in reverse. This two of pentacles in reverse talks about biting off more than you can chew. 
something is imbalanced. I don't know if it's with your finances or what, or this could be like indecision. But let me see if that's your energy or not, because what's the two of pentacles in reverse? Five of Swords. What's two of pentacles in reverse? Five of Swords. Ace of Swords. Yeah, it's like you already got the truth about somebody. Somebody's a fucking bully. They're trying to intimidate you or whatever the fuck this is. It's because they're in deep regret about something. You're not worried. You're perfectly balanced. The Temperance, the Three of Wands, and the Ace of Cups, and the Wheel. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it's like, this is what's coming in. Like, in the near future or it's happening now. Like, you got good karma coming in, especially in your love life. You've done the work. Like, there's nothing for you to be sitting over here upset about. It's they ass that's upset. You're over here perfectly fine. You're grounded. You're stable. Y'all ass getting ready to become a wife or a husband. Just fucking period. So, whoever done fucked up, I don't know what to say. Let me see something real quick. <laughs> like, that's going to be on they ass. I don't want to use this. Maybe I should have used that, but I don't know. Let me just see what comes out real quick. Mm -hmm. There's like somebody here, they did too much. It's like they eating their words. That's the same shit I said in Leo's reading. A lot of people are eating their words, just period. It's like you have the truth about them. You see who they are. You've conquered the shit. You've conquered the demons. Like, you're good. You're good here. Well, who this King of Pentacles right here, man? Who this with this moon and this Eight of Swords? Fake, woke, hypocritical, ulterior motives, talking circles. What's this King of Pentacles right there? Retreat. Introspection, hermit, figuring it out. What's the King of Pentacles? Sneaky link, side piece, on the low, one night. This person can have Virgo in their charge. Could be a Virgo. I don't know. Somebody here could have thought that you was fake woke or you didn't know what was going on or... It's like you've really been in hermit mode. Like somebody just thinks that you're slow. I feel like somebody thinks that you're slow or like you don't know too much because of something that you do. It's like you know how to maneuver. Like you know how to play dumb, basically. You know how to make people think that you don't know shit, but you do. Just to see how they're going to act. <laughs> like you give people rope to hang themselves because they shouldn't be fucking assuming that you're stupid anyways. Like you need to fucking respect people that you don't fucking know. That's just common sense. That's humane. Okay? Like... Respect people that you don't fucking know. What makes you want to disrespect somebody that you don't know? And they ain't did shit to you. It's like, get get a grip. That's what I'm saying. I don't know, though. Like, somebody just, I don't know who the fuck that is. <laughs> and they over there tripping. So, that's on their ass. I don't know. But, um, who just King of Wands right here? Bussin, we got tasty, amazing, no complaints. Who is King of Wands? <laughs> DMs in reverse. New message, interested, secret, admire. Who the King of Wands? Adulting, busy responsibilities, challenges. Mask fish, disguise, not showing false identity. Hmm. I don't know, child. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck that is. You got a lot of people here. <laughs> it's like a lot of people in this reading. And they could all be one person, too. They're just shape-shifting. So, you know, take it how it resonates. But <clears throat> I don't know. Who is this King of Cups? 11.44 on the clock. Spark. Perfect match. Gut feeling. Soul connection. Cuffed. I'm telling you. Real talk, heart to heart, deep combo in person. Give me one of the King of Cups right there. That's the one that's coming out as your match. Give me lurking, social media, stalking, pictures, watching afar. What's the King of Cups? Let 
weird flex unusual strange boasting i feel like somebody's like watching someone this is somebody like watching you or watching this person what else if this is somebody okay yeah baddie divine feminine sensual goddess and yin there could be a spirit god too that's protecting you from these people it's like a lot of people watching you because they want to get back in your energy <laughs> But um, this can, because like I said, that's somebody new. I mean, nobody's perfect. This person could have like a baby mama that's acting like they tripping or they going through some shit too, man. As long as they honest with you, I feel like you decide on if you want to handle or deal with that or not. But um, somebody here is just stalking the fuck out of you. I don't know. Who does Emperor in Reverse over here? I don't know manifestation magical blessings wish fulfillment that came out in reverse what's this emperor <laughs> faded high drunk bad habits disconnected is what i'm saying like bitch get the fuck out of here triggered healing traumatized yeah solitude i feel like that's the person that really traumatized you that emperor in reverse that false twin of yours baby that could be a baby daddy y'all had a baby together whatever the fuck i feel like you date them that's the person that really can fuck you over <laughs> seriously this person they got addictions they got all kind of shit going on with them and they're obsessed something wrong with them and then you got somebody over here that's just in their ego like they just want their cake and they eat it too it's like they're going through challenges probably with their kids and they x and whatever the fuck they not they wearing a false mask it's just like a lot going on <laughs> i don't know what the fuck this is copy but nonetheless i feel like you're going to meet somebody though that is going to um or you're doing something with your life that's going to trigger a lot of these people so just be prepared cleanse your energy and just keep moving <laughs> like that's all i'm saying What's going on for Kathy? I mean, what's coming in for Kathy? You may soon find yourself faced with disappointment and feeling let down. Certain expectations may not come to play the way you were hoping. Yeah, I feel like you're, that's what I'm saying. You're coming to accept certain things. Because, I mean, you can't, you can only change things that you can really control. You can't change these people or anything like that. But it says many unexpected surprises will present for you this year that will bring about many new blessings. What else is coming in? We have a profound healing, a profound time of healing approaches. It may feel challenging, but you will come out stronger than before. A time of evolution and growth of self approaches. You will feel a higher frequency of energy surrounding you in comparison to the recent past. It says your career or business path is being guided by a higher power at this time. You are being asked to have faith and to utilize your abilities as this will help your endeavors to grow and prosper. Financial constraints may leave you feeling weary about your future. Take time to budget your finances. Okay, so that could be something that you need to do. Or there's somebody else in your energy. Mm -hmm. Flip the rolls. If you ain't having financial problems, it's probably somebody else or it's not for you. What else is coming in for Kathy? A betrayal will come from an unexpected source. Mm. The intentions of a secret admirer will become known. A love interest is taking advantage of your kind nature. Their ingenuity will cause you distress. Mm. You may be faced with an energy of upheaval. Understand that this is necessary in order to bring about a needed change in your life. It may feel undesirable, but you will soon see the big picture, the bigger picture. Bottom of the deck, it says now is a time to think outside of the box and change your approach when it comes to an endeavor you've been focused on. You say time spent, spent apart from a loved one will be inevitable and unfavorable news about a love interest will soon find you. Child, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck that is. But I guess let me know. Maybe this shit already happened for you. Cappy, let me know. Mm -hmm. Okay, but this was your reading. I hope that um 
you got some clarity. It looks like it's a lot of people in your energy, but I don't know. Hopefully, you got some clarity about your situation. Um, hopefully, this resonated for you. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on. Press the all button so you guys won't miss any of my readings. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.